Hi everyone, it is day 223 of my one year of videos. It's amazing the things that are showing up as I'm on this journey to let go of the ego identity. And today what showed up was food. <laughs> it's kind of, um, it seems silly, but it really isn't. Um, so what happened was, I'm almost out of vegetables. <laughs> and I eat a lot of vegetables. My, I just feel better when I do. And um, at the same time, it's like, okay, I made a grocery list, you know, and, and I felt this resentment coming up about going grocery shopping. And whenever I have negative emotions now, I recognize they're, they're a gift. They're there to show me something. And what I r saw was that, okay, this resentment is showing up because I feel like I have to go grocery shopping. I have to go do, I have to go get more food. <laughs> I don't have enough. And, and so I just paused. I'm like, okay, what, what is the underlying belief here? And I recognized it was all stemming from fear. This belief that I have to eat a certain amount of vegetables every day, you know, for my health and also to maintain my weight and, you know, it's, it's the, all this, I could see all this stress coming up about needing to eat a certain way. My word for this year is freedom. And I thought, that's not free. If I'm tied to a certain way of eating, <laughs> that is not freedom. And I decided, you know what, I, I don't want this anymore. So I thought, okay, can, can I let this go? Do I want to let this go? And it's like, hell yeah, I want to let this go. <laughs> so, you know, I was like, damn it, I'm not going grocery shopping. And I went to my pantry and the refrigerator. And I don't even have a big refrigerator. It's kind of small, so it doesn't even hold that much. And I thought, okay, let's see how many more meals I can create without going grocery shopping. And I was blown away. I can get th through three more days <laughs> without going grocery shopping. Now, granted, I will not be eating as many vegetables, but I don't think I'm going to die. <laughs> I don't think anything bad's going to happen. Um, yeah, it, it was amazing because, you know, I thought, oh, my gosh, I don't have anything to eat. It was, no, I didn't have the things that I'm used to eating, you know, creating the meals that I'm used to eating. I, I had to get creative. And it's amazing what, what can happen when I let go of this, that one belief. Um, all the, all these new ideas came to me. It's like, oh, I could make this and I could do this. And, um, yeah. So <laughs> this undoing the ego can show up in all kinds of ways. And, for me, what I'm recognizing is that that I want to, I need to question everything, every belief I have, every attitude, every judgment. Yeah, because what I really am, which is what I want to identify with, I want to let go of the whole Roxanne identity, is I am light and love and spirit. And spirit isn't all caught up in that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. That's what showed up for me today. I'll see y'all again tomorrow.